I know that this is, you know, a, a cause that's near and dear to both your hearts. Sort of tell us how this idea came about and what the idea specifically is. Well, it, it came about over supper. <laughs> and with the second wave of the pandemic, we thought of families and with all the restrictions in vi with visits in CHSLDs and RPAs, we thought, oh, not again, because isolation is devastating for seniors and their families. So we, we were looking for a way to make a difference and allow families to get together virtually. So this is how we started the iPads campaign for senior residences. iPad and stands, right? Which is an important yes. note in all of this, why? Because it's easier for the staff to bring the iPad to the residents if it has a stand. That way they're not holding the iPad for 10 minutes. Mm. They can do their work while the residents chat with their family. It's our secret weapon for them. And <laughs> the feedback yeah. has been you great know, from the staff. You know, something you hear so much about, you know, during this pandemic is, is the fact that what a travesty it is that all, so many people, these seniors especially, are left alone. And so this is truly a way for them to connect. I know you've already started distribution. Can you tell us a bit about the reaction that you've been receiving? Well, you know, we, we it was unbelievable. It just started off that maybe we can raise enough funds for four or five uh, residences, and it just took off. And we're we're so blessed to be in a position where 41 uh, donors, uh, a wonderful contribution from the Eric T. Webster Foundation, ten thousand dollars just them alone, gave us the opportunity to provide 22 CHSLDs and seniors residences. So we started delivery this week. Seven down, 15 to go. And the reaction has just been phenomenal, both from the residences, uh, the senior communities themselves, they're very grateful. But when we get a text or a picture or an email from a family and we see the iPads in use and you see the smile on their faces, then it's like, wow, OK, this is what it's all about. There's a lot of smiles behind the masks. <laughs> yeah, behind the mask. It's incredible. I mean, technology has really, you know, truly been our savior this year. So it's such a great initiative. Is there any way that we can help? Are you still looking for donations? Well, uh, yes, we kept it open. We started a GoFundMe page is how it started. So if you simply uh, search GoFundMe and iPads for seniors residences, we'll be the first one at the top of that search. And uh, uh, donations, 100% of it go to the cause. And if we can raise it from 22 to 25 and continue, we're going to continue doing it. Okay, I can let you go before asking you about uh, the CHSLD Heron, because I know, Matt, that you're uh, involved with that file. Of course, they announced recently that they are closing down, so seniors, residents there have to be relocated. Can you give us an update on that file? Sure, I've been in touch with CS, and um, there are 53 residents still at the Heron, and over the next 6 to 12 months, um, they will be transitioned to other CHSLDs, and they, it, you know, the CS um, will do their best to try to get the families into the public system. They are also leaving it up to the families because Heron was a private residence, so families will still have a choice to go into private as well. So I'm very much involved in, in trying to help some of those families transition um, in yet another um, difficult time for them.